Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Dash Point. Okay, so in our previous tutorial, we have covered how to show a banner ad in your Flutter application, and we have also covered how to show a banner ad into a list of items in random places. So as you can see over here, there is a, a banner ad in a list, and after some items, there is one more banner ad. Okay, so if you have not watched our previous video tutorial, go check it out. And this is the third part. In this part, we will cover how to show a interstitial ad. Okay, so as you can see, when I pre long press on this uh, item or any item, there is an interstitial ad. Okay, so let's begin. So now let's go to AdMob Helper from where we manage all our AdMob activities such as loading and displaying the ad. So here create an instance of interstitial ad and we need a integer that will keep track of how much time the ad was tried to load number of attempt load we will set it to zero for initially and then we will just create two methods over here one is to create industrial ad and one more is to show our industrial ad so now here in, in interstitial ad you need to make use of interstitial loader interstitial dot load so here are some parameters that you need to pass to it so first thing is the ad unit so to get the ad unit you can go to your admob uh, uh, console and you can take from there by creating new ad unit so in this video tutorial i will just make use of this test id and paste it over here and the request you need to just call add request method okay and the callback so in callback you can keep this empty or if you want to perform any special task then you can make use of this so there are various properties that you can use over here so to use that interstitial add callback so first thing is add load and second one is fail to load so in add load what we will do is what we will take the interstitial add add and then we will just attach the loaded add to our add means this variable we will just attach it and then uh, we will set the number of attempts back to zero okay and in failed to load what we need to do is we must make use of uh, load add error okay and here we can just use uh, a print command or you can just increment a uh, this variable plus one and then set back the interstitial to null because uh, sometimes what happens is interstitial add do not get loaded completely it stopped in between because of network error so first we need to clear the interstitial add that is that is existing and then here by making use of if statement what we will do is we will just check if the number of attempt is more than 2 if it is more than 2 we can't load the ad anymore so now here what we will do is if it is less than 2 we will just call the create method again ok so this create method will run for uh, 2 times 0 1 2 ok three times and if the ad is loaded successfully then this will work if it is not loading then this uh, method will work over here okay so hope you all understood what it is for this so now let's move to our another method that is show interstitial ad so once our interstitial ad got loaded we will call this show interstitial so in show interstitial, first of all, what we will do is we will make use of if comma if statement and we will check if the interstitial is null. If a user attempt to show a ad without the interstitial ad is there, 
then what we can do is just return it and if the ad is existing and it is possible to show the ad to the user so at that time we can just show the ad to the user so for that full screen context context not the event full screen context so wait a minute okay full screen context callback okay and here there are various uh, methods that you can make use of to play with your ad such as on on ad show context industrial ad and just uh, you can what i will do is i will just print a command a statement on the console for the upper purple so this means that the low ad is showing to the user and on dismiss what should happen when the ad is been dismissed by the user here what we will do is i will we will just dispose the ad you can also make use of print statement to show ad disposed something okay and then ad failed to show full context if the ad failed in some cases we can show this error okay and you can just uh, call the create method again you can print a statement what the error was and you can dispose the already existing ad if uh, if it if it is loaded half or anything and just call uh, create new interstitial ad okay so this will create a new interstitial ad if in case the it failed to load and then finally just use this interstitial ad dot so this will show the ad to the user and then after showing the ad just set it back to null okay so now we are done with our uh, admog helper so there are two uh, methods one is to create a an ad and another is to show the ad to the user so now let's move to main dot dat file in main dot dat file over here in your stateful widget here create an uh, object of admog helper class add helper new add helper okay so now what i will do is as you can see there are list of items uh, where user can uh, press to to perform any activity so here it is this one list tell so list tell has a property that is on tap by which by making use of which i can just uh, create a add dot create okay admob helper the object of admob helper class and then just call the method to create it create the add and there is one more uh, property that is long press so in this long press what i will do is i will just show the add to the user okay so that's all uh, i will just restart our app now let's see okay so app is getting built let's wait okay so app is getting installed in my device so as you can see over here so you can see there is a banner ad at a random places in our list view and when i tap on this uh, list tile it is loading the ad in background and when i press on the it uh, for a long press so you can see the industrial ad get loaded okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept to how to show the ad so if you have any doubt you can just uh, download this uh, uh, project from github or you can refer our website protocoldespoint.com 
the link will be in the description below uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you